you know. And that's when I that's when I realized, you know, that's the way it works. It's it's all of our stories coming together. Yeah. You know, it, it's not all about just our story. It's everybody's story having to yeah. you know, work the way it works. Yeah. So, we do all weave it together. And so that and I think that kind of set me back to to really you know, you that really puts your intuition in in kind of in check you mm -hmm. know so I, I wanted to take a pause like you know it's not all about just you know what am i seeing what am i feeling what am i you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's more of you know i need to encompass more of everything not just yeah. you know why am i feeling all of that you know what i mean right, so, yeah that okay i needed to step out and realize there is a huge picture yeah so, you know and yeah. and that and that and to let the, the you know the universe and my guides you know take me where i need to go and yeah then, what yeah. is happening but fantastic really all the challenges that i didn't write yet i i could live them and really experience them and the masculine the fem fights I, I'm, I think i start to get it <laughs> really, really deeply <laughs> so they're all being very much put in practice and i'm very grateful for that so oh good you. you're welcome yeah. thanks for all that i guess you know before going into this a lot of the times i would just feel i don't even know how to describe it i just felt stuck and i, d I didn't know why i would you know feel sad for no reason like i have nothing to be sad about but here i am you know and Mm -hmm. I didn't really have a connection with, you know, a higher power or anything like that. I mean, I believed that there was something more. I believed that everyone has a soul, but I didn't know anything beyond that. And I think, yeah. you know, going through this and a lot of what's made me feel more balanced is just having that connection with my guides and do a higher power. And yeah. also just learning how to deal with my emotions like okay this is why i'm feeling sad so let's dig deeper mm -hmm. and actually find the answer to it which i've done quite a lot and before it was like you know i think a lot of the things that i was changing was my uh in my physical world like i hated my job so i quit my job i hated where i lived so i moved and those were all great things but i was still feeling that something was missing yeah you know so at that point i just didn't know what to do and of course you know like denise said i think you just kind of sh showed up in my life when i needed it as you do with everyone yeah. you i'm sure and, and i didn't know that i needed it but <laughs> i mean it, it's been pretty eye-opening and just kind of also realize I, I think um it's come at the right time this little break for me so it was completely unplanned good and it's give me a whole beat break from a partner to uh, assess really how I felt mm -hmm. last year to how I feel now. Yeah. And, um, it's been nice to talk to Steph about things as well, saying I don't quite recognize myself because I was an absolute mess yeah. looking for the framework. Mm -hmm. um, and I uh, feel like I've got the framework and I want to go through and like get it. Well, not yeah. off pat, you know what I mean? It's like, you find it so I don't have to go and reference it, but I don't yeah. recognize myself. And it's like... I think some of the relationships in my lives that, life that yeah. needed to change and not yeah. giving my energy away so easily, which is something that, something hard that I've dealt with, you know, I... Yeah. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll literally, I'll be struggling with something, you know, doing something, you know, through in my mind and then I'll read some comments on a challenge in the mentorship or something and something will show up. Like that's exactly what I was thinking. Like that's the answer that I needed, you know? And yeah. uh, it's, it's cool stuff. Yeah. If you were to look back at uh, this time last year, where, where have you, where were you and where are you now? Like what's been the um, biggest significant change? Probably that I know who I am and what I want. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing, knowing who I am. Um, I still a long way to go. So I'm only halfway there. But um, yeah, this time next year, everything's going to be different. I, I just know it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have a big yeah. goal for next year? I do have a big goal. 
<laughs> you know, I was I was told years ago that when you meditate together, um, it uh, each person squares the energy. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when we're in community like this, the energy is much more powerful. Oh yeah. Because each person is probably squaring the other person. Mm -hmm. The the you know the community cumulative effect you know it's all squared by each one of us yeah so the, the power of community is incredible yeah yeah that's why this community is so important yeah i couldn't have done this whole course without knowing these these people down the airwaves they do they do exist <laughs> <laughs> yeah They're here today they do they exist They're yes they do you know I really need a friend. Friend, you have got them. You've got them on the tribe, and they're yeah. all in different times. So it's what's kept me going. It's what's yeah. Kept me going. yeah. Yeah. So thank you. I, I love you all. <laughs> what it's gonna be, but there's a lot. There's a lot that I need to tap into with my mm -hmm. past, and I uh, guess we'll see where it goes. <laughs> yeah. And you know, like you know, like Becky said, you'll be given exactly what you need when you need it, or when you can handle it. Yeah. You know, and yeah. so all together, there's an experience, and whether it's healing or it's something, you know, that just throws us off or whatever, mm -hmm. there's, we all share that. Yeah. You know? so, yeah. Um, I can't wait to go to the West because I enjoyed it anyway last time. It's like yeah. I want to like burn off a bit more. <laughs> I'm really excited for that. But the it's crazy because there's been a lot of times throughout this where someone will say something and it'll be like, wow, I really needed to see that, you know, and mm -hmm. fall into place for me too, which is related directly to the communities. It is all of our stories. Yeah. It's all of us doing this together. Mm -hmm. and, that, and that we're weaving, like, like Cheyenne said, like I'll just randomly pick a thread, to start reading. And it's just something I need to know right at yeah. that. Point. Yeah. So it's, I love that aspect of how you, how you said that about it. it's mm -hmm. just really all of our stories coming together and us helping together without even knowing it you know yeah then that's, that's the power of this community yeah it really is yeah and this this tribe just give me that base i always hold you all in my heart i always will um you just allowed me to beat me yeah and um that was very precious because they say i'm 58 now you don't you don't expect to get a second chance Hmm. I didn't. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to next year. And as for goals, I just want to be happy and healthy. But um, I know there's stuff to be done with. <laughs> but in general, you know. Yeah. But I think overall, I, you know, looking back, I know that I have grown. Yeah. So it's That's yeah, great. It's, it's great, and I know there's there's still work to do. Because, like, I've never been in any of the other directions, and mm -hmm. I'm sure there's a lot <laughs> still. <laughs> but, yeah, it's been, it's been good so far. Good. Sure. Yeah, you, you, you tend to uncover just a lot of stuff. When you start this work, you start that snowball rolling in every direction. You just start peeling back more and more and more. And it just, mm -hmm. uh, and it, it is eye-opening. Yeah, sometimes we, we get so caught up in our world that we don't really realize where we are until one day somebody snaps their fingers and, whoa, takes you out of that fog and gives you just a glimpse of something else on the other side of you, another side of you that, that needs to be tapped into. And that's what's so amazing about it all is that it's, very powerful stuff that we're dealing with like and it's yeah. very real too yeah and it's you know you can't really put it into words you know no. so it's, i wish you could yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there, there really aren't any words for it but it is it is quite amazing good well i'm that, glad you're getting that much out of it yeah yeah. And I think it's that, that old soul of mine that's just kind of like dealing with this new body and, mm -hmm. you know, I'm still, I'm still young in this life. And like I said, I just, I know I have a lot to deal with. I don't even.
it's real interesting for me to hear all of this because I've gone through one direction and I'm, I'm still going through it because we got a couple more weeks, right? Um, I, I think that the thing for me is that I didn't realize that after I did something, and I, I should have, but when you're going through it, you don't think of it until after you go through it, right. um, that there's a place where you have, the, that you may not feel good. You may initially feel good, then you feel like shit, and then it's like, oh, okay, then you feel good again. So maybe it's the seed. The manure is the fertilizer, <laughs> you know, and then there's the new growth. <laughs> I don't know, but it's uh, it's it's been a South has been a trip for me, and of course it's, it's what I absolutely needed to go through 